Okay, one mile, zero to 100 handicap. We've got, uh, so Rivera, so K, Froglet, uh, Timeless Spirit, The Collector, Daughter of Dante, Karminsky, Speed, Uriah Heap, Pacifist, Hidden Benefit, Post Girl World, King's Croft, Homer, uh, Treasure Damsel, Alfie Flitz, and Carla Line for Alex Cherry down the bottom. Racing, getting out quickly there was Froglet, made a few of them look flat-footed when they really weren't. Timeless Spirit drops back to the tail early, so kicking forward at the seven furlong is Pacifist. Um, from So Rivera, So K, uh, Kaminsky Speed is up there. Um, also out wider there is Uriah Heap is right off the track with uh, it's, I would say it's King's Croft Homer and at the tail there we've got Daughter of Dante, Froglet, Alfie Flitz and Timeless Spirit and Caroline um, but uh, it is Pacifist leading in the centre of the track at the, with four furlongs left to run from moving forward Uriah Heap and kicking through along near the fence is Post Girl World and I'd say uh, Kaminsky Speed at the two and a half furlong and it's still Pacifist in front but the Collector who's come from the tail of the field with uh, Treasure Damsel they're taking on this leader and Pacifist is just in front the Collector now takes over it's the Collector in front at the furlong now kicking through is King's Croft Homer and that's flying and along the fence is Post Girl World and uh, Don a daughter of Dante it's King's Cross Homer in front Post Girl World wins from uh, King's Cross Homer not sure who was third it might have been Josh's horse I'd say these two are stable mates and Post Girl World gets up but we'll just check, make sure it's not a dead heat. The angle wasn't good for me, and it's just got up post girl world for Nick Driver. King's Cross Homer for Dan Hughes is second, very similar colours. Third daughter of Dante, Joshua Sutherland, fourth head and benefit C Beckwith, and the collector was fifth uh, for uh, Mark Jones.